Another guy that whose name keeps coming up, and um, this is one that the Bleacher Report has linked to the Browns, is is uh, J.J. Watt. Watt will likely be leaving Texas, the Texans, Houston Texans, uh, this year. And you see, now he's a little bit older. He's 32, and you know he's been banged up. So the last five years, only three of them has he played an entire uh, entire season. Played eight games two years ago, five games. Uh, a couple years before that, and three games one year. So he's had a variety of injuries. When he's right, it would be fun to stick him opposite Miles Garrett and say, go get him. Oh, there's no question about it. And that's why I think you should definitely, if you're the Browns, knowing you've got to replace uh, the OV Olivier Vernon, as we mentioned earlier, you know, he, even though he's got, he's got a serious injury, he has to come back from. He made himself a lot of money this year. He, in my mind, was the Browns' best defensive player in the second half of the year because Ward was unavailable and Miles had COVID and wasn't the same after he came back from COVID. Vernon was the guy who was wrecking havoc uh, on the uh, on the quarterback in the second half of the year. So good for him, but I think he priced himself out of the Browns' market. Therefore, you're in the market for an edge opposite of Miles. Why not, J.J.? Why I know you're buying on past performance and yes you're right Dave he's been a uh, dinged and 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 whatnot but you remember when he's right how dominant he he was and how dominant he still could be because we know he keeps himself in great shape and here's the other part about why I think the Browns will pursue JJ Watt they were pursuing from all we could read and hear uh Jadavian Clowney and Clowney wasn't exactly a picture of health in the previous few years. So if they're going to look at a guy like Clowney, despite his injury history or being dang, why can't they do the same with J.J. Watt? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all for looking into J.J. Watt more than just a, a cursory look. I, I would be serious about it. 